What is going on Wastelanders? It is me the Lone Vault Wanderer here with a Fallout 4 video. I'm really sorry about the one week hiatus. I've been working hard on this EB Expo presentation video and I'm trying to get it perfect. There's also some other stuff that I got to sort out with my channel before I actually want to upload that video. So hopefully it's up by this weekend. If not, it's going to be next week at the latest. I'm really sorry about the delay. But today's video is of course about Fallout 4 and as you'll know Bethesda released the PC specs for Fallout 4 today both the minimum and the recommended amounts. This is from a Kotaku article but they released it on Bethesda.net but anyways I'll provide that link in the description below. Um, but I thought what would be a bit more of a fruitful endeavor on my behalf is to actually show you the kind of PC that you will need to meet each and every single one of these requirements both for the minimum requirements and the recommended requirements for Fallout 4. So what I did is go to PCPartPicker.com and it's essentially a website where you can build your own PC um, and you know pick different components and see what the price is, see what the power uh, supply requirements are, see if all the parts are compatible etc. So it's a really useful site. And what I've done on the left side here you can see a PC build which is going to exactly meet the Fallout 4 specs for the minimum level and then on the right here this is exactly meeting the recommended specs for the game. So to show you what I mean, for the minimum you got the i5-2300 2.8GHz CPU there and then for the video card you got the GTX 550Ti with 2GB. Um, and then for the recommended you got the CPU again at i7-4790 at 3.6GHz and then you've got the video card at GTX 780 with 3GB. Um, and again, this is exactly meeting the um, specified requirements that Bethesda released for the minimum and then for the recommended. Obviously it's a spectrum, that's minimum and that's recommended. You can go anywhere in between, you can go greater than the recommended that you want. But the intention of these lists were to show you if you wanted to exactly meet the minimum, this is the kind of PC you need. If you want to exactly meet the recommended for Flight 4, this is the kind of PC you need. Also note as well a couple of things that this price down here is also including things like a mouse and a keyboard and a speaker, which I've kept consistent across both of the different builds here. They both have Windows 10 as well. Um, but you can obviously chop and change those as you want. The links to these um, builds are in the description below and obviously on the screen right now. So you can actually go and see these builds, see the components, change them as you want. If you don't believe you know, that uh, this CPU is required or whatever it is, you can change that. And you, obviously that's going to affect the pricing. You'll see, you know, wh which outlets and which retailers online that each of these components are coming from. Um, and bear in mind that this is all US prices as well. If you're in Australia, obviously it's going to be a bit more expensive because of shipping and the currency conversion. But at least in the US, if you are going to be um, buying a PC for Fallout 4, to meet the minimum requirements, you're going to be spending at least or around anyways $1,200. To meet the recommended, you're going to be spending around $1,600, but again, chop and change these as you will. Anything cheaper, if you want something more powerful, whatever there is, you know, just feel free to do that. The links are provided in the description below. Note as well though that in picking these components, I generally picked the most highly rated um, components, not necessarily the cheapest. Usually they coincided, but just bear in mind that I wanted to get products that were actually highly reviewed and people thought were actually good as opposed to the cheapest products. So these look like pretty solid builds as well. They both have the same case. If you think something's not appropriate, again, change it for your own benefit. Um, but this website's really good. The, it tells you the power supply requirements at the top here. So obviously for the less powerful PC, you've got 320 watts. For the more powerful one, you've got the 443 watt there. Um, but they both have the same power supply, which is the Corsair uh, CX with a 750 watt uh, level there. Obviously that's more than enough for both of them. It, probably for this one, you can actually decrease that if you want, if you can find a saving there. But I've kept those consistent as, as, alongside the keyboard and the monitor and the mouse, etc. So I hope that this has actually been useful to you and this is particularly relevant to people wanting to get into PC gaming and Fallout 4 is a great place to start. This is the kind of price you'll be looking for. I'm sorry that it's not any cheaper or anything like that but you know buying a PC is just more expensive than a console, console nowadays especially when you include a monitor and keyboard etc. And also this is also ex excluding things like Microsoft Office which m many people are actually going to want to get. So but again these are the bare requirements here. Um, and yeah, if you're, if you're looking at upgrading, like getting a new PC altogether or just 
chopping and changing your pre-existing components then you can do that you can see the different ones here if you know if you have an i5 right now and you want an i7 or if you have a you know a, a GTX 550 and you want to get a 780 or maybe a 7 970 sorry like I do then you can actually click on that like I'll show you what I mean so you can say all right I want to edit this part list and then once that loads see I've got at the US by the way because most of my viewers are from the US so it was a bit more relevant but you can actually get rid of that you can buy it when you get rid of that you can say all right I want to choose a different video card or whatever it is so it's really flexible really easily do that yourself but I hope that these pre-existing lists that I've built for you are actually helpful again links in the description so anyway Space Sanders that's all from me this has been a Lone Vault Wanderer please take care of yourself and as always keep fighting the good fight